Hey guys, this is Minelki. Uh, I just want to do a quick video on Arcwing. Uh, just talking about my thoughts about it, you know, just what I like, what I don't like, what I think they could do with it, and all that. So, I guess just to kind of start off, first of all, I really like Arcwing. I've been playing it, well, pretty much since it came out. I like what they've done with it. It's a really cool, kind of fast paced, exciting game mode. Um, I really liked it. I like the Eyes of Blight event, even though it seemed to piss everybody else off. Um, you know, uh, I like those, uh, the tactical alert they just had, the Ogma Elite thing. That was pretty cool. It was a nice chance for the Arcwing players to have something to do like that. So I kind of like all that stuff. Um, the missions are really fun. I mean, I like the, uh, the sabotage in particular. You know, flying into the ship like I'm doing here in this vid. I actually like it. I think it's pretty pretty fun and exciting. It's like flying through all the different corridors. Kind of reminds me of the Death Star scene from uh, Return of the Jedi, you know, so kind of flying through all those those, uh, those ducts and stuff. It's pretty cool, but uh, anyway, so I really like it, and well, I understand a lot of people don't, um, which is understandable. It's kind of not, you know, it's, it's, it's brand new, right? So it's kind of not really quite up to the level of the rest of the game. Uh, but, you know, that's that'll come in time, I guess. So, I don't think it's a huge deal, really. Uh, yeah, just kind of, kind of derping a little here, trying to figure out my, my way uh, my way around. Which I guess kind of would bring me to my first gripe with it. Um, the map system could probably be better. Um, the, I mean, obviously the environment's completely 3D. And, of course, the map is only 2D. So that can be a bit of a problem. Um, plus, I mean, it uses that sort of symbol waypoint system. Which kind of works in the in the, the regular game, but I find it a bit awkward uh, during Arcwing missions because I mean you look at the symbol, it's like okay, go here, and then you start going there, and the symbol switches. And I mean I know how it works in the actual game; you can't you have to take it literally sometimes, and you know not quite as literally other times. But I just find find it a little bit jarring. Um, they can probably do something better with that. Um, actually, as I'm just watching this video, I'm just realizing. Uh, I was having a hard time aiming uh, with these dual Decurions. Really cool gun and all, but uh, maybe it's just something with this particular Arcwing, the Elytron. Because every time I go to aim, uh, you can't really see what you're doing. See, the, the wing kind of gets in the way of the aiming reticle if you're if you're not backing up kind of thing while you're shooting. So maybe that's something they can address. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, pretty much the map. Um, I think they could probably do a little bit more with the HUD elements, too. Um, like a little bit more meaningful information, like that little sort of planar sort of lines indicating your your orientation. I don't think that's really relevant um, in a game where you, you know there's no game mode where there's no like important ground to worry about. Like if I was flying a plane on Earth, I mean that would be useful info, so I know which way I'm orientated. But it's, uh, it's not quite as key. I'm, I'm sure it's just an aesthetic anyway. But I mean they could put like you know, range finders and that kind of thing. But I think there is a range thing, you know, when you shoot missiles, you can see the range on them, and you can gauge the range of the enemy target, and you can, you know, detonate the missile whenever, right? But, I don't know, I just think they could probably maybe beef up the HUD a little bit, just give us more, more polish, more, like more, more, you know, stuff to, to read the environment with. Um, like if you were to play like a space sim or something, it'd be, like your HUD would be going crazy, like a million different things. Now you don't want to overcomplicate it, of course, but just some basic functionality to kind of get around the game a little bit better. Um, you know, beyond that, uh, I guess the resin could use some work. Uh, it's a bit awkward to resurrect people in Arcwing, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's lots of stuff they could do with that. They could make kind of a snap thing where you snap right to the guy as you're trying to res him, or, I don't know, some kind of area res ability, or I've heard somebody suggest just have it auto res if you're near them kind of thing. It's just that they're so small, right? I'm trying to pin them, like, track them down, and then, you know, you go flying towards them and you, uh, you overshoot them. But, uh, anyway, so, you know, there's, there's always that. Um, but, you know, aside from that, I really like the game mode. Uh, the weapons are a lot of fun. The enemies are a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's fun to blow shit up, basically, in space. Nice little break from the, uh, from the standard running around on foot game. Now, as I understand it, uh, it's not going to be with U16, but with the uh, the upcoming J3 Golem battle, I think they're calling it. As I understand it, they're going to be putting it in such a way as you're going to start off the mission like on foot inside the ship or something, and you're going to do running around in there, kill stuff, and then at one point you're going to launch 
into space to fight the boss. I think it was like that in the uh, the first Arcwing mission, like like the tutorial mission, once you get the uh, get the Odonata. So I think they're gonna do something like that with with the Arcwing boss, and I think that'd be a really cool idea. Um, just kind of going back and forth, even if they have missions where you go back and forth between the two things, I think that'd be really great. But anyway, um, so yeah, so those are basically my thoughts. I mean. There's not really a whole lot else to say, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of Arkwing. I really like it. Uh, so, yeah, get out there, play some Arkwing, and let me know what you think.